when you average faces, when you uh, toss them all together, that when you merge them, they look more attractive than the individuals that they came from. When you make composite pictures, and this has kept all sorts of people happy doing experiments where they do mixes and matches of starting with a hundred different pictures of people and combined subsets of them and having people rating attractiveness and stuff. And it's this absolutely bizarre thing that the more faces that go into a composite, the more on the average people perceive them as being attractive amid incredibly subtle differences between a composite picture of 50 faces versus 25, all of that, people are able to pick up the di differences, not necessarily consciously. So what is that about? And what became clear many decades later is that what happens when you make a lot of faces all into one composite is you get a highly symmetrical face. And this seems to be the key thing that comes through in that realm of attractiveness, which is that when you average in a whole lot of faces, one of the things you average is the averageness of the face. And you get rid of asymmetries, and everyone knows that... Who would you want to mate with? Okay, so thereby proving the point. And what you've got is... Symmetry is apparently a good, reliable marker of health. Wildly asymmetric faces are typically the result of complications, developmental ones, health sort of issues. So the general interpretation is that symmetry is attractive because it is a marker of health. And every single article you will ever read in sort of the lay press or even in some of the science journals, which should be above this sort of thing, will have the picture of some famously attractive somebody or other and with a face up there and all the little caliper markings and showing the same sizes and then some poor schnook who's chosen to be the asymmetric face who's stuck up there. Did, you, are, did Newsweek wind up, the Newsweek article wind up being in the readings? No, it wasn't, yes. Okay, Lyle Lovett, is that the face they had there that they were making vicious fun of and pointing out lip asymmetries and such? Something about the symmetry seems to be a marker for health and is considered more attractive. And people can pick up astonishingly subtle asymmetries in faces. Babies at two months of age show when you are doing morphed faces, composite faces, where you can very care, very minorly adjust the degree of symmetry or asymmetry in the face. Babies at two months of age are already preferring to look at pictures of more symmetrical faces. You find this in lots of other species as well. When you look at animals lever pressing, rats, for example, getting access to other rats of the opposite gender, and you will see there's a bias for symmetry there. There's a bias in non-human primates for more symmetrical faces. How's this for a nutty study that was published about five years ago in Nature? And this one reported that people who had symmetrical faces were better dancers. Okay, let's work through that one. What was that one about? And they did, it was a bizarre study, but somehow, nonetheless, it was irresistible. Here's what they showed. They filmed all sorts of people dancing, and no doubt they did perfect controls, and they like made sure everybody danced to the same thing, which was, like, I don't, I don't know, some famous scientist rapping to something or other, and people dancing away there. And then they used this amazing technique, which I didn't understand in the slightest, with some sort of camera capture technique that would make everybody dancing look like Gumby. So you took out all the individual features, anything at all, and people would then rate them on the dancing, and it would turn out that people who were rated by both genders of either gender as being a better dancer, when you then went and checked out their faces afterward with your slide rule, turned out to have more symmetrical faces. Whoa, isn't that bizarre? My guess would be that this is one of those indirect routes that we've already seen some examples of. My guess would be 
more symmetrical faces are thus more attractive and thus such people are treated better and are more confident in life and more extroverted and more comfortable dancing when they knew that they were going to wind up looking like Gumby. So that is probably what the indirect route is. But running through all of this is this symmetry business and it's there in species after species and humans are amazing at picking up subtleties at it. One additional finding in the symmetry world, women at the time that they are ovulating have their faces become ever so slightly more symmetrical. Okay, well, that's going to get people all nutsy in the coming weeks, no doubt, trying to figure out what that's about. Um, I did not see a good explanation as to what that was about, but that has been observed in the literature. So the first thing in terms of what one looks for in a mate, if you're some basic social animal, first set of features, this business about symmetry. 